Hi guys, this is G from Beat Skills, and today we're gonna see how to add that vintage vibe, that vintage flavor to your tracks. Now, since all of us mostly have the same uh, virtual instruments, the same samplers, the romplers, you know, uh, synth sounds, drum sounds, then how does one attempt to sound different? How do you actually get your track to stick out and have personality, a personality which is uh, close to what you know your taste is and your mind is so in this case we are going to use a simple method with, with some of our plugins to use the stock sounds which come with your daw or the vsds that you might have <clears throat> and make them a little different so um this is a, a three-part arrangement that i'm working with the first virtual instrument or drum rompler that we're using is the bollywood maharaja this is our own plugin and it comes with a stock 100 drum kits about 1200 sounds packed in here Cutting edge trap, 808, 909 sounds, of course, EDM sounds, hip hop sounds, perfectly engineered. And then we have some Bollywood, Bhangra, and Indian organic sounds. So these are cool if you want to add that little bit of uh, Indian masala and flavor and uh, vibe to things, making you sound different with this plugin. The second plugin that, that I'm using is uh, the stock EP or uh, electric piano that comes with uh, Logic. Your own DAW could have its own piano stock sounds. You can use that. And then uh, the third thing we're using is a bass from the ES2, which is a subtractive uh, synthesizer, which comes with Logic again. You can use anything which comes with this, FL Studio or anything enabled in live, Pro Tools, Logic, whichever program you use, right? So uh, let's listen to all the parts uh, piece by piece and then start working on them. This is the drum sound. Then we have. Uh, the EP playing uh, a couple of chords. Cool. Then we have the bass line uh, which is done with the ES2 synth. get the idea it's a nice soul vibe kind of feeling um, let's go and solo our uh, EP track and to that we're going to add uh, a little vintage kind of sound almost like a, not almost but actually exactly like a turntable so let's uh, add uh, which is that preset that I really like there's one called nightmares on wax <laughs> it's also a band name um, so let's listen to the EP sound now with this I like this is a little bright uh, soundscape uh, of vinyl in this plugin. And we've also used the chorus, from, so this is making it wide, this is making it really, really colorful and, and tasty. Also, as, also going to add a little bit of the low cut filter to kill the lows a little to accommodate the bass. Let's listen now. And here's the original sound without anything. Sounds pretty flat, right? Anyway, we've added that uh, vintage vinyl vibe to this. Um, let's go to um, the drum kit. And all that sounds already pretty vintage. I'm just going to add another instance of uh, that thing. This lovely magical processor that we've made which can turn your uh, regular tracks into very cool, cool tracks. Now, one thing uh, about recording to tape was that it has track bleed. So what track bleed can do is basically, you know, leak, say your percussion track is leaking into your, uh, you know, piano track, which is leaking into something else, or strings or whatever leaking into other things, kind of creating a crosstalk, which is, uh, you know, which is kind of an error or an issue, but uh, it became desirable. It kind of became an organic thing, which, was part of those recordings and we missed that so this is the best way to recreate that we've got a few uh, soundscapes in this and we're coming out with more so i'm going to add a track leak to the drums
So this has added another kind of flavor. Last but not the least, we'll go to our bass sound. And I'm going to thicken it up using our uh, that thing chorus section. Nothing else that I'll add. Again, I'll use a preset, a very beautiful preset we made. Uh, the synth bass one and two. Let's try which works better. Let's listen to it in solo. It's beautifully sweet in the sound, you know, just made it wider and dull. Just that kind of sweet feeling. I'm going to filter the lows a little bit, maybe just to create, you know, keep uh, that low end in control and check. So cool, let's listen to the entire track now with our plugins applied. Cool, we've got a lot of dirt in there. Let's listen without all of this dirt. It sounds nice, but it sounds like pretty much meat and potatoes, just what you get from stock sounds. And then the mojo comes with the plugin. Of course, you can turn down the level of the soundscape if you think that there's too much crackle, we have the controls. You can even pitch it up or down just the way you want it. Just uh, go with the kind of taste color. Too much, too little, nothing strange. You can just do whatever you like. You might not uh, know this, but a lot of producers in today's date add these dirt layers. They add these. Uh, anomalies and these crazy things to their tracks just to make them sound really analog and different because they miss that. Everything is just too cold and plain in the digital world. Okay, then last but not the least, we're going to add slight mastering with uh, the Slamdoc plugin. Now, the compressor section of this plugin is modeled after a vintage unit and a couple of other vintage units we've taken certain characteristics from. <laughs> so, uh, without revealing too much about what we went after. We'll just uh, make it easy for you. Like the plugin hides all the complex stuff that's going behind it and gives you a very amazing sound with few controls. So uh, let's add that movement, let's add that color with this plugin. So I'm going to use some compression with the pop compression, some airs to dial in a little cool uh, high end enhancement and then some bass enhancement. So let's listen.
see after a lot of tweaking you can see that we came to a result which has got a bounce to it it's got motion it's got movement and when you switch it off that movement just goes away and everything is plain and simple and flat of course again i use a dry and wet control to create the right balance between the original sound and the really compressed sound and you can do that you can just go with your taste try what you like and uh, add this add more heat more bass whatever you want you can just dial it in and uh, let's listen again once with all the plugins bypassed and then we switch them on and then see what the difference is like Just adds that perfect vintage vibe, that color, that flavor. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial, and I'll be back with uh, some more of such fun and different kind of ways of approach approaching music and uh, coloring your sound. Thanks again, and this is G signing out. Ciao.